Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. This time we're looking at the Kotetsu uh, Awagami R Blue Number no. 2 Tsushime Guto 180mm knife. So this knife has three layer construction. The center uh, core cutting edge steel is Awagami Blue Paper Number no. 2 Reactive High Carbon Steel. Heat treats about 61, maybe 62 Rockwell on that. So that Steel is reactive, it's not stainless, but they cover it with a soft stainless cladding on either side, so you got that three layer construction, so it's a little bit easier to maintain. The um, weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife. Uh, this particular one is 141 grams or five ounces. Edge length about 184 on the edge for this one, seven and a quarter inches from the tip to the back of the heel, and the overall length is about 306 millimeters for the whole knife, right about 12 inches. These are pretty stiff, even though they're fairly thin at the, at the spine. I got about 1.9 millimeters thick at the back and then about 1.8 here in the middle. And we don't get a lot of taper on that, but it does thin out with the grind as we get towards the tip. Tip's not laser thin, but it's thin enough to do a nice job. And then the edge is not, again, not laser thin, but these are good kind of just overall performers. Height is not very tall, it's about 40 and a half millimeters at the back. So uh, the handle, um, let me save the handle just for a second, but you don't have a lot of room here on the cutting board, so you got to kind of watch yourself. Um, you've got the handle just flows into the neck and the neck's fairly wide, so you know if you've got big fingers this may be a little tricky on the cutting board, but kind of standard fingers it probably should work pretty well as long as you keep those fingers flat. Now obviously if you're back here it's going to be a little different story. Just depends how you want to use it. Uh, the handle is a black walnut handle. It's very nicely uh, finished off, very smooth. You've got a partial tang. This is known as a Western or Yo handle, but it's a partial tang handle that keeps the weight down and makes that bottom part really smooth. So it makes the balance point not quite as far back as it would be a full tang, but the handle is very comfortable. Three stainless rivets, real nice fit and finish on that. You can see the nice uh, curves there in the light, so it's just super comfortable. Uh, balance point is going to be it's a little hard to show here, but it's just about in the front of that side scale there, in front of the handle is about the balance point. So if you pinch grip, it's going to be a little handle heavy. Um, if you racket grip, it'll be more neutral. But again, quite comfortable handle. Uh, these are typical like 5, 6 out of 10 on my scale of sharpness out of the box. Here's our beauty shot. These are aesthetically pretty nice looking knives. I should say very nice looking. They've got the Tsushima or hammered finish on each side. Then you've got some embossed kanji and, and uh, items on the right side of the blade. Here's the machine finish on the blade road. And it, it is what it looks like. This thins out. You can feel it with your fingers pinching it. How it thins down right there. And then here is the other side. If you look at the video for the Santoku in this line, you'll see I've used that one and it shows what this core steel looks like as it starts to get a patina on it. It looks really cool. So it'll show you what it looks like after you use the knife a little bit. So the fit and finish is, is good. Uh, you've got a little bit of relief on the spine. The choil, they've done a little bit of relief as well, so it's pretty comfortable out of the box. Again, nice stiff blade. So these look cool. The handles are very, very comfortable as I mentioned. Here is the cutting board profile. So a uh, fairly versatile profile. You've got a little bit of flat area towards the back, although the heel is a little bit, you can see right there, heel has a little bit of back belly to it. Uh, you've got a fairly aggressive belly towards the tip. So I can get pretty high on a rock here for the tip once to dig in. I can get way up there. So this will rock on stuff really well. Push-pull cuts, glide cuts, you could do some tip draws with it, although you have to get the handle a little higher because it does rock really well also. Not a punch of flat area on it for chopping, but you could do a little chopping towards that section right in there. So pretty versatile profile. So this is a nice looking, good performing uh, line of knives. The steel is awesome. Algami number two has good edge retention and it's super easy to sharpen. It'll get super stinking sharp as really as sharp as your skill will allow. So as you grow in, if you sharpen as you grow uh, with your skill set, this uh, steel will grow with you and it can get razor sharp if you do your part. So this is the Kotetsu Algami or Blue Number no. 2 Tsushima or Hammered Guto 180mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.